Hey everybody, Christopher Titus. Uh, this is the infamous episode 11, based on a true story. Uh, this happened to my dad. Uh, he didn't tell me the true story till many years later after it happened, because uh, he drove 70,000 miles a year. And I was wondering, how did you wreck your car, dad? <laughs> this is how. Enjoy, kids. Stay inside. Stay safe. Let's end this. Bye. In a crisis, my family puts aside all its petty differences and hatreds. Because a crisis is a perfect opportunity to create new petty differences and hatreds. <laughs> My dad's from that era where you lived to 50, your heart exploded, and that was that. You know when you cook bacon, you pour the grease into a can? My dad's the can. <laughs> hey, Dad, you know, you had two heart attacks, right? I want you to start taking care of yourself. I am. Okay. The doctor put me on a light diet. Menthol light and Miller light. <laughs> My dad's third heart attack, he'd gotten so good at them, he decided to drive himself to the hospital because they won't let me smoke in the ambulance. <laughs> and you can't make a burger run. No cheese, right? I got a heart thing. <laughs> Every family has something special about him. Brains, athletic ability. My family has heart attacks. <laughs> But it's okay, because my dad belongs to an HMO. He really liked their slogan. Hey, we're better than a prison doctor. Huh? Papa Titus has been in that room for an hour. You have to tell me something. You can say Papa Titus, Papa Titus all day. You are still the girlfriend of the son of the victim. We don't talk to you. <laughs> we, you're the only one here. I speak for the hospital but not to you. <laughs> honey, honey, oh. I got your message. I only heard a hospital. Are you okay? Hospital? Yeah, that's what your message said. <laughs> your, your, your father. Hospital? Okay, calm down. Okay, breathe. My father... Had a heart attack, ran a red light, and wrecked his car. Good, easy. Oh, crap. <laughs> hey, Tommy. I you let him in the room? He's not family. His attitude was a lot better than yours. <laughs> Tommy, Tommy, how's dad? I am not talking to you. you know, does the word patricide mean anything to you? Uh, patricide, to kill your father. I looked it up when I was 11. What are you talking about? <laughs> By kill your father, let's see. I mean, you tried to kill your father. How does it feel, father killer? D did you patricide dad? No. <laughs> he tried. Mr. Titus wanted to take a date out on his boat, and he spent three angry hours trying to start it because some, oh, heart attack causing moron, don't hit me, his words, not mine, <laughs> took the distributor cap. Well, well, well. <laughs> You're acting like he never tried to kill me. <laughs> I almost killed dad because I took his distributor cap. Well, you must feel terrible. You were with me. <laughs> Dave, we did not cause dad's heart attack. Well, I think somebody should do something nice for him. I'll get the flowers. Uh, honey, honey, honey. I, I know that you really didn't do anything to cause your father to have a heart attack. Damn right. But Evidently, he thinks that you did. So is it possible that you maybe, you know, acted the way that you act and it caused his heart to maybe pause? I've been blamed for stuff since I was born. Literally, since I came out, still had goop on me. You ruined my life, you bastard! Welcome to the world, Christopher. Thanks to you, I have to marry that psycho. Yes, I do. Your mommy has four distinct personalities. Yes, she does. Gucci, 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 gucci. Dave, come on, let's go. Oh, where, where are you going? I'm gonna go straighten him out. Uh, well, I'm not going in there. You helped. 
damn your logic. Honey, honey, the last person that your dad needs to see right now is the guy who tried to kill him. He's weak and tired. Oh, yeah, we should go now. Christopher, honey. <laughs> don't. Honey, I know a little more about this than you do. Christopher, honey, don't. Oh, honey, I know a little bit more about this than you do. Aaron and I have been together long enough, so she knows who I am and likes me. She sees a certain charm and cuteness to my stupidity. You know, the way people like Canada. Okay. Woo. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Hi, Ski Patrol? Yeah, I'm up on Gun Barrel Ridge. Yeah, I need a helicopter and a stretcher. Thanks. Hey, fresh powder. Hey, Dad. Can I get you something? See if you can trade yourself in for a Korean kid. Dad? I'll name him Ho John Titus. Dad? Ho John wouldn't steal my distributor, and I could probably pick him up for a pack of cigarettes. Why don't you ask if she can help? You know where I can get a Korean boy? Dad! <laughs> Excuse me? Well, I mean, you people know how to work hard, and you respect your parents. Don't you, baby? Uh, I'm Japanese, and I'm from Fresno, baby. How come you're not designing computers? Uh, because then I wouldn't get to meet nice white devils like you. Oh. <laughs> so you crawled in to apologize for giving me a heart attack. Yes, Father. Oh, here we go. <laughs> no, we didn't do anything. Can't you say something nice to me for five minutes? Uh, Dad, you've been smoking and drinking your whole life. Hey, 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 hey. I smoked and I drank for 25 years before you were born, and I never had a heart attack. I can't argue with that. Dad, the only way a distributor could cause a heart attack is if I stab you in the heart with it. Dad! Dad! What? How are things? Get away from the bed. Charge the 300. All right, Claire! Hey, 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 don't Claire! What are you trying to do, pad the bill? Check the other guy! Doctor, he's right. The monitors got switched. HMOs. We like to save lives but we don't get all freaky about it. <laughs> all right, let's call it. Makes you stop and think, doesn't it? Yeah, Dad. I wonder what his kid did to him. <laughs> Suddenly I realize that my dad is no longer the ass-kicking god he was. He's just a man. Frail, mortal, heart attacky. So now I have a choice. I can be right, or I can keep my dad. I'm sorry. Sorry? Sorry means that you admit it was your fault. I, I, I'm so sorry. I, I did it. I'm responsible. I was a pawn. <laughs> what can I do to make it up to you? There's nothing you can do. Of course, my car was totaled. Oh, oh, I'll fix it. It'll be just like new. No, new would be better. <laughs> A new car? Oh, I, oh, oh I, okay, okay. Uh, uh, you, can, you can have my classic 1956 Chevy with a Corvette suspension. Wow. He said new. <laughs> well, either way, you can't give me a new heart now, can you, boy? You can give them yours. Growing up, I was always in trouble. But it wasn't enough for my father to just punish me. He had to humiliate me. Well, he didn't have to, but it's his favorite part. You didn't do the dishes after your little lasagna party. I'll do them when I get up. Wakey, wakey. <laughs> you 
This is nice. Guys, I... Hi, hon. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry to pull you away from whatever that is, but there is a police officer waiting to talk to Papa Titus about the accident. What? The police want to give me a ticket for having a heart attack? Okay, okay. Dad, this is something I can do for you. I will handle this. Honey, can you take over for me? Uh... Yeah, I, I, I stopped at the uh, little piggy that had the roast beef. Uh... uh... I saved the clippings. It may be all we have left of them. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Titus, right? Yeah, I arrested your brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good times. Yeah. Hey, where's your dad? I need to talk to him. Uh, yeah, he's breathing through a tube right now. Uh, I'll be dealing with this. All right, maybe you'll find this interesting. The intersection where your father had his heart attack has a camera system that takes a picture of your car when it runs a red light. What's that furry thing in his lap? It's not there now. There it is again. Her name's Angela. She's up on the eighth floor getting a CAT scan. What's the furry thing? Driving with a woman's head in your lap, fun, but dangerous. Driving with a woman's head in your lap, not wearing your seatbelt, still fun, more dangerous. Driving with a woman's head in your lap, not wearing a seatbelt, getting in an accident and blaming me? Well, looks like the head's in the other lap now, huh? <laughs> you flip them fast, it looks like a short porno. Yeah, no plot, though. Why would Dad lie about having a heart attack? Yeah, why wouldn't he just say he had sex in the car? Maybe he doesn't want to embarrass the woman. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, if we decide to press charges, your dad will lose his license and he may have to register as a sex offender. All right! <laughs> Dave. Dude, that would be hilarious. <laughs> Dave, look, why let the cops humiliate Dad when we can do it? I mean, this is like a revenge pinata. <laughs> filled with little chunks of dad. Like when I opened that Pepsi and under the cap, it said I want a hat. <laughs> it's like double that. <laughs> so what do you want? You own a custom car shop. I want my Viper flamed. And I want my pot back. <laughs> We're bribing him. But he already has my pot. I'll paint your car. And? I apologize for my brother. Deal. It's payback time. It is difficult to fight against anger for a man will buy revenge with his soul. Heraclitus, 500 BC. You scare the crap out of me. He's asleep, finally. I gave him a foot massage. He said he wanted his feet to feel as nice as they look. You must feel dirty. And angry. Dirty and angry. I mean, you took the day off of work, you're probably getting an ulcer from worrying about him so much, and to top it off, you had to massage his feet. What is wrong with you? That's your dad. Look closer. What the hell is that furry thing in his lap? It's not there now. There it is again. Angela. I massaged his face! Oh, we're with you. That, that, that is not a heart attack. That, that's a, that's oh, a 
Oh, say it, please say it. I love it when you say it. <laughs> That's not driving safely. <laughs> Your dad doesn't have to worry about his heart anymore because I'm gonna rip it out. No, 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 honey, 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 come on. We're gonna get revenge. We're just gonna do it slow, methodical, yeah. mean. Like dad would. <laughs> He is going to be so proud. <laughs> I got the flowers. So how's your dad doing? Have they done all the tests? The EKG, the cardiac catheterization, the echocardiogram? Oh, dad needs tests. <laughs> After Tommy blew off his toe in clown college, he tried pre-med for a year. He was brilliant with the chemistry. But what he couldn't handle was when good pigs die. Breathe. Please, don't you die on me. <laughs> Mr. Shafter, that pig's been in a jar for seven months. You call yourself a doctor? <laughs> Wait for me, damn it! Wait for me, please! Yeah, I don't know if they've done any tests for poor dad. Oh, you'd know if they did a cardiac catheterization. It's a very painful test. You think he needs one? Oh, yes, we do, Tommy. He's a sick, sick man. Okay, but they have to run a tube from his groin up to his heart. Ooh. Really? Yeah. And he has to lie still for like six hours, and, well, that's not the worst part. Ooh. What's the worst part? <laughs> they have to shave him from here to here. Slow. Methodical. Mean. The Lancaster Heart Foundation states that it's 216% more likely that you'll die of a heart condition in an HMO than in a regular hospital. They're inept mercenaries who frankly don't give a damn about the patient. How can I use that to my advantage? Well, Mr. Titus, good news. We're releasing your father. What? 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 No, no, no. He had a heart attack. And the police report will say accident caused by heart attack, right? Not until they've done tests. What? Have you done tests? We did tests. Oh, what kind of tests did you do? You shine a flashlight in his mouth? And other stuff? <laughs> if you release this man and he goes through those sliding doors and keels over, well... It's your ass! <laughs> uh, what do you want me to do? Um, uh, Tommy? Cardiac catheterization. I don't need that. Yes, you do. Well, that's an expensive test. You sure you had a heart attack? Hell yes. Whoa, come on, why would he lie? Huh? Who goes around faking heart attack, right, Ted? <laughs> right. <laughs> so, so he needs and he's getting a... Cardiac catheterization. Yeah, because he's my dad. And I love him. <laughs> I want to go to the park and throw the ball around with you again. <laughs> I want you to push me on a swing, Dad. One more time. When did we do that? It is difficult to fight against anger, for a man will buy revenge with his soul. Heraclitus, 500 BC. My dad's pubes are toast. <laughs> Christopher Titus, 2000 AD. Okay, everyone out. I gotta shave him. Oh, you gotta shave me? Yeah. Cost me a pack of cigarettes, but it's worth it. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. I made this sound a lot more serious than it was. Oh, you mean you didn't have a heart attack? Then what happened, Papa Titus? Please tell me. No, 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 no. I had a heart attack. Because we want the best care possible for you. Because we love you. Oh, I love oh, you, Dad. Big love, Dad. Big love. <laughs> I love you, too, but... Shave him. Let's go, guys. <laughs> Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't you worry, Joe. I be very, very careful. I shave you wrong time. <laughs> Nicked it. Pop, uh, need a little aftershave? I look like a nine-year-old boy. 
Christopher. <laughs> tell him to stop the test. Listen, the truth is, I didn't have a heart attack. Dad, don't be brave. No, no, I'm not being brave. I, I, I just want to keep my driver's license. <laughs> what, father? Does that mean that your fake heart attack what was fake? Oh, so that would mean that your fake heart attack was not my fault. <laughs> I am shocked. Whatever possibly could have happened? Well, it's a long story. Mm. I would bet a picture is worth a thousand words. What? You! <laughs> you knew and you let them shave me. I knew and I got them to shave you. You are a son of a bitch! Son of a bitch? You know what? I'm a son of you. I think you're just mad because I'm still old fuzzy. You, 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 you. No, 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 In a crisis, my family puts aside all their petty differences and hatreds. We come together to make the crisis worse. Death, I'll, I'll take the heat for this one. <laughs> Real funny, Dad. I'm the funny one. No, I'm the funny one. No, I'm the funny one. I'm the funny one. Okay, fine.